Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, this is our third lunch with guidance. This is a live presentation that we'll be doing today going over dual enrollment and AP courses. So a lot of great information. Um, this uh, presentation is going to be recorded. So this will be posted on our YouTube page for those who may need to go back um, to get the information that we provide today or for those who may have missed it, it will be posted on our YouTube page. Um, for you to have access to. So we're gonna go ahead and begin since we do have an allotted time frame. Um, so you may take on over Ms. Wood and begin our presentation with us. Hi, I'm Ms. Wood. I am a school counselor for students with last names J-E through M-C-K. Um, I'm gonna go over some information about advanced placement and dual enrollment and the differences. Advanced placement courses allow high school students to take college level courses at their current school. Dual enrollment courses allow a high school student to take college courses at local colleges while in high school. Both programs are free to high school students. Um, just a side note that textbooks are included if a student does decide to do a dual enrollment program. Advanced placement versus dual enrollment is always a hot topic for students and parents. Which one is right? Which one is better? Which one makes me more competitive? There's no right or wrong answer. There's no better or worse program. Both are great. Both are college level and both are weighted on a six point scale. The idea that we, the main thing that we wanna take from this is that colleges wanna see that students are taking challenging courses. But on top of that, they wanna see that students are being successful in those challenging courses. Dual enrollment and adva advanced placement classes are considered challenging or rigorous, and they help a student build a well-rounded resume. If you're unsure which is best for you or your child, you can be enrolled in both at the same time. Maybe give both uh, a shot and see how they go. We have many dual enrollment opportunities opportunities here at West Orange to explore, including Valencia, UF, UCF, and Orange Technical College. Advanced placement courses are available at West Orange High School and run the entire length of the school year from August to May or June. There is an AP exam in May, which is the same day and time for every student nationwide. Dual enrollment courses are semester long running from August to December or January to May. Summer courses are also available. West Orange High School offers 30 advanced placement classes with, which are listed here. Thanks, Ms. Wood. Um, so I'm gonna go over a little bit more about dual enrollment. Um, dual enrollment basically is when a student is a part of two schools, so that dual aspect. Um, we are going to go over and further in the presentation the different dual enrollment programs, but in general, what's important to know is that dual enrollment is a great opportunity for students, um, and we'll go over the different reasonings why they want to join in, but it also is a great responsibility, especially if they're taking college level classes. And the reason we point this out is not to scare you. Um, it's mainly because once students begin taking college level classes, they are beginning their college level GPA. So similar to students who may have taken high school credits while in middle school and came into high school with a high school GPA, similar, a similar aspect would be with college. The only difference is, and the reason why we do like to bring this to the attention of our students and parents, is because if a student does poorly in their college level classes, then that may have an impact on their college admission in the future and may have an impact on their scholarships, or they may also be put on academic probation. So once again, this isn't to scare you, but something that is definitely to be considered when thinking of becoming a dual enrolled student. So we always say that dual enrollment is not a one size fits all. So it is important for students and families to consider the purpose as to why a student wants to be dual enrolled. And the main reason cannot be because their friends are or that they'll just have transportation. So it is something that they should have a goal towards that connects to what they wanna do after high school. 
So some goals that students may have as to why they want to participate in a dual enrollment program, maybe if they want to earn more college credits earlier, possibly save some money in that aspect, or if they want the actual college experience, um, because it is very different from high school, that responsibility that they have of being very self-sufficient. Um, if there are certain classes that are unavailable here at West Orange, that's only available dual enrolled, that's another goal that a student may have as to why they want to enroll into a particular dual enrollment. But overall, um, having a goal in mind is most important so that we as your counselors, as well as our college and career counselor can align that for the student to make sure that they are on the right path towards their long-term goals. Also, dual enrollment programs have different platforms. Students can be full-time or part-time. Part-time is if they're only taking about one or two classes a semester. And full-time, for those who may be seeking to get an AA, depending on when they begin, would be a student taking four classes per semester. So we did note here at the bottom that West Orange classes is a full year long, while dual enrollment classes are scheduled by semester. And this is very important because we do not change West Orange schedules in the middle of the school year. So this just encourages students once again to have that pre-planning mindset of thinking of what they'll be taking in the spring if dual enrolled to ensure that their West Orange schedule for the year still aligns with the full picture of their school year schedule. So that's just a little bit as to the goals in, in regards to dual enrollment. And Ms. Mazur will go over the different programs. Hi guys, I'm Julie Mazur. I'm gonna discuss the dual enrollment program through Valencia. All students, ninth through 12th grade, are eligible to apply for the program. There are certain times that you can apply for each term. If you're wanting to begin the program um, for the spring term of 2022, the application window is open now. Um, if you're wanting to begin the program in the summer, you would still need to apply now in September um, because you have to apply to the program this semester before that you plan to begin. If you want to plan to start in the fall of 2022, the application window uh, would open in February. The grade point average they are looking for is a 3.0 unweighted GPA for the underclassmen. That's grades 9 through 12 or 9 through 11. Sorry. And if they're looking to apply for their senior year, they look at a 3.0 weighted GPA. The test scores they accept are the PERT, the SAT, and the ACT, as you can see below on the slide. If your child has taken the SAT or the ACT and has received the appropriate scores needed for eligibility, then they would need to send their scores officially to Valencia. This can be done through their ACT or College Board accounts, Please keep in mind this could take anywhere from three to six weeks for the scores to be received. If your child has not taken the SAT or the ACT yet, they can take the PERT. We usually offer the PERT twice per year, once in the fall and once again in the spring terms at West Orange. Students can sign up for the PERT administrations by completing the Google link that is sent out through the social media platforms and also through our text reminds. They can also reach out to their counselor or the testing coordinator, Ms. Wells, for the links. We are having a makeup session for the PERT on October 18th. Students are able to sign up now to take that administration. The deadline to sign up for this makeup PERT is October 7th. So again, if they are planning to apply for the spring term, make sure they reach out to the testing coordinator or to us, their counselors, for that sign up link. Students need to provide their own transportation for the Valencia dual enrollment program. Classes are face-to-face -face and online. Online classes can help with the transportation issue if you should have one. Please note that if your child is under the age of 16 and they choose the face-to-face -face classes, then they will need to be accompanied by an adult while on campus. Okay, so this next slide contains pictures taken directly from their website. If you just Google the Valencia dual enrollment, it will take you directly to this page. This site has a wealth of information. In the middle of the picture, you'll see a magenta circle. This has links for a step-by-step -step guide in filling out the application, a help link, and also detailed instructions. 
I would highly recommend looking at these links before hitting the red button that says apply now. That will take you directly to the application itself. If you look at the magenta circle towards the top of the picture, the website has other great resources. I want to point out what I think is the most important one for students and families, and that is the reference booklet. In the reference booklet, you can access easy to find information. If you want more information about testing, you can find it here. If you want information about ways to earn credits, like through AP and CLEP, you can find that here as well. The ones that I use most frequently are the AA requirements and the approved course list. The AA requirements link will lay out all the areas and classes students need to obtain credits in order to earn their AA degree. The approved course list will provide you with all the classes a dual enrollment student can take and also how many credits and what subject areas it will count at the high school level. I often refer students to this link when they want to know what classes they need at Valencia to satisfy their high school graduation requirement. Ms. Walker will talk next about UCF. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Stephanie Walker and we're going to talk about another dual enrollment opportunity that our students have and this is through UCF. Just like Valencia, the grade level is 9 through 12. Classes are offered online and face to face and transportation is not provided. The GPA that the students need is a 3.8 and UCF will calculate the GPA based on the students academic core courses only. You can see from the required test scores, they accept SAT or ACT test scores and the student will need to ask for those scores to be sent directly to UCF dual enrollment through College Board or the ACT website. The application is open year round. It just depends on when you want to start. So it closes November 1st for the spring term, March 1st for the summer term, and May 1st if the students want to begin in the fall term. This is a, a screenshot of their website and all the admission requirements can be found here on the dual enrollment website. Students will apply directly from the website and you can see on the right hand side with the magenta arrow, it says apply now. Once they click the apply now button, it will take them to this next page, which has the dual enrollment application on it. This is found under the other applicants portion, as you can see with the magenta arrow. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. McManaman. Um, I'm the counselor here for last name CI through FI. And I just wanna go over UF's dual enrollment. So UF uh, accepts juniors and seniors for their dual enrollment program and this program is online only. Um, so since it's online, there is no transportation provided. Students must have a 3.6 unweighted GPA in order to be accepted and meet the required test scores. UF accepts the SAT, the PSAT, or the ACT. Um, if you have a student who is a sophomore and who wants to possibly do dual enrollment next year, I would encourage you to have them take the PSAT. Uh, the application dates are to the right side of the slide, and you can see that uh, for the spring term, the application is open now and it will close in October. Uh, and then for the summer term, the dates have not uh, yet been sent out but it will need to be done the semester before you start. Uh, also, if you look in the right corner, you'll see a red box that says that all students, whether you are, they are new to the program at UF or returning, need to complete a new application each term in order to stay in the program. So again, even if they're returning, they will need to complete a new application each term. So this is a screenshot of their website for UF's dual enrollment. So as you can see where the pink arrows are, you would click on the apply now button to apply. And the second pink arrow that is pointing down, uh, if you clicked that, it would take you to the courses that are available. They have a whole bunch. Uh, here is a screenshot of what it looks like. As you can see, there's some pictures with it. 
And there are way more classes than what you see here. Uh, you would just scroll down and you would be able to see uh, the classes that your child may be interested in taking. Hello, I'm Mrs. Sumter. I have the Alpha Group PR through SM. Right now, I want to go ahead and mention our dual enrollment with Embry Riddle. This is face to face here on campus. So, once again, there's no transportation that has to be mattered. The grade levels are 11th and 12th. We had some 10th graders, but it may be case by case situation depending on the, um, the teacher that's in there. Um, the GPA that you have to have is a 2.5 unweighted. In the program, they do prefer a 3.0. The two classes, the available courses right now, we do offer offer aeronautical and pilot operations. But next year, we're going to offer two more. And as you'll see from the slide, those two are at aircraft systems. So next year, we'll go ahead and we'll have four courses that they could go ahead and participate in. Um, the application date, they will begin when we do our registration for next year. So the application will open up in February and it will close in April. And if you have any question, we have Kohler No, and his room is 550, and then you have his email address at the bottom. Hello, I'm Brandy Heidelberg. I'm your career specialist for West Orange High School. So I oversee everything that's career and technical education for Orange Technical College on campus. Um, I also oversee our dual enrollment program for Orange Technical College. Um, so for students to be able to participate, they have to be a junior or a senior. Um, the courses are face to face, so they are provided transportation, which is free to and from the OTC campuses where they participate in hands on learning courses. Um, you have to have at least a 2.0 unweighted GPA have to be on track for graduation, at least 3 to 4 free electives on their schedule. Um, on the Western high school schedule and also the application dates. They actually open in November and then it closes in March. Um, more specific dates will come out. Um, also, students will get the application via student email and there also be flyers around campus that they can use the QR code to apply. All right, and some benefits for the dual enrollment with Orange Technical College. Um, it's an opportunity for students to jumpstart their career while they're in high school, so they're able to get that hands-on learning and get certifications while they're in high school. Um, they can earn college credits towards continuing programs at Valencia, so they get articulation credits that they can transfer over to Valencia, um, depending on the program. Courses also help boost their weighted GPA, and it is free to attend while they are a student in high school. It's also an opportunity to find a potential career that a student may enjoy while they're in high school as well. So that way they get that experience, as I said earlier, the hands on learning. And if they do want to continue in that career field, that's something that you can look at. Um, you know, after graduation. Okay, and some more information on how it works. So the students will go over to the OTC college for 3 to 4 periods a day. When they say three to four periods, that's actually time for them to go over to the OTC campus. So the transportation there, spend time in class, and then the transportation back. So that's why they're gone for three to four periods. While at the OTC college campus, they're engaged on hands on learning by industry professionals, as I mentioned earlier. Transportation to. Oh. Transportation to and from the OTC campus, as I said earlier, is free. So they're taking a bus to the campus and back. Um, they earn industry certifications and these industry certification exams, adults actually have to pay for them, but while they're at high school, they're free. Um, and some of the programs that we offer are listed below. So we offer veterinary assisting, welding, 3D animation, culinary, automotive services, building construction, barbering, pharmacy tech, electricity, and we have many, many pro more programs that we offer for our OTC students. Next
Looks like we're having a little technical difficulties. Just a moment. <laughs> So it does seem that the slide is frozen right now. So if we want to continue the conversation, it's just the content that we'll be providing won't match the information on the screen at this moment. Um, but Ms. Heidelberg, if there's anything else you wanna kind of share, I know we're towards the end of Orange Tech, but if you have anything else you wanna share, um, we would love to hear it. Okay, and I also just wanted to mention our um, on-campus dual enrollment programs that we offer here at West Orange. Um, it starts the ninth or 10th grade year and it's a three year commitment for those programs. It's the same thing they get the hands on learning taught by industry professionals and they also receive those industry certification exams that allows the students to get certifications while they're in high school. Our on campus dual enrollment programs that we offer are building construction, which is taught by Mr. Hiles, our digital multimedia design program, which is taught by Ms. Jordan, um, culinary arts, which is taught by Mr. Nesmith, and also we offer Enterprise desktop and mobile support tech, which is offered by Mr. Smith. But all in all, like I said, I oversee the dual enrollment program, Orange Technical College. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Again, I'm Brandy Heidelberg, brandy.heidelberg at ocps.net. I just want you all to be aware that all our information is on the school website. So if you go to the West Orange website and then you go over to student services and then you can scroll down and you'll see dual enrollment. If you click on that, all our information is there. The links to the different um, dual enrollment programs that we have, we have application deadlines, the courses, the application guidelines. So if you have any questions about your dual enrollment or anything with college and career, you just go to student services and you can see all the information there on that page also. And if you need to contact the guidance counselors or anything like that, we're also on this same um, page under student services. So we have all that information and you have Valencia on there and all the other schools also. If you guys have any questions um, at this time, you can go ahead and like type in your questions and we will have someone answer them. We will also have this on YouTube. So if you go to like, just type in like West Orange High School and then OCPS and that will go ahead and come up. And then below, as you can see, we have the tiny URL on here.com, um, West Orange High School HS. You could go ahead and put that in and all the information will come up also. So you have any questions, go ahead and let us know. Now we have someone who is who um, is here to go ahead and answer your questions for you. And if you have anything else, maybe with your own particular child, just email the individual guidance counselor also. So as Ms. Sumter stated, our chat is open right now. If you guys do have questions at this moment, um, so we'll give it a few minutes and see if we have some questions to answer. If not, uh, you may also email the particular counselor or Ms. Heidelberg on Orange Technical College as well.
Um, so I do see we got a question in regards to if a student can drop a dual enrollment course once enrolled. Um, it does depend on the dual enrollment program. If we're refer referring to Valencia specifically, there is a limit to how many courses a student can drop before they are actually removed from the Valencia dual enrollment program. Um, so this is something that we take um, caution in regards to and have a conversation with students before they drop a class because that withdrawal um, does show on their college transcript as well. Um, so that's for Valencia specifically. Um, Ms. Heidelberg, I'm not sure if you want to answer in regards to Orange Technical College, if students are able to, to drop after enrolled. Star Wars movie. Yes, they can technically drop it, but we try our hardest to keep the student within the program. They can forget. I can go ahead and answer your next question, which is PERT results take about three to four weeks to gain results, correct? Will the results be emailed to students? And the PERT results are actually instant. So as soon as they take the test, if they're here on campus, they can go to Ms. Wells and she can provide them a school report with their PERT results on it. Um, for purposes of the dual enrollment program, the district actually will send the PERT results to Valencia automatically. Um, I know they do this in the springtime on a weekly basis. So as soon as the scores are in the system, they do send those. Um, if they happen to take it at Valencia, let's say they are applying and they miss the testing window here at West Orange, they can apply for the dual enrollment program. Once they get their Valencia ID number, they can take it at Valencia. And they, in the past, they've had it on campus or online. I'm not sure which platform they're gonna be using currently, um, but in the past, students have been able to go to their testing center, take the PERT and get those instant results. One thing I wanna say is if they took it at the school, I would have your child follow up with Valencia to make sure that they did receive those PERT scores. Great questions. If there's any other questions, please put them in the chat. All right, well, if there are no other questions, uh, thank you all for joining us today. Um, again, this will be on our YouTube page and um, take care and let us know if you have any other questions. All right, thanks guys. Bye. Oh, wait, we have one more question. So for dual enrollment textbooks, uh, this year, they have hired a third company, like an intermediate company that talks to Valencia and talks to the school. So what happens is the district is going, or Valencia is going to provide the district a list of all the students with the classes they're taking and the dual enrollment classes that they're signed up to take. They will then give this to that third party uh, textbook company who will then gather all their books package them and then deliver them to the schools. And once the schools have them, they will notify the students when to come and be able to pick those up. All right, you're very welcome. All right, and if there are no other questions, we will say once again, thank you for joining us. Bye guys.